reconnect and heal today. Welcome to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello, everybody. So happy to be with you today. It's a very auspicious day to be doing the show because my new book, If You Think You Don't Have PTSD, Think Again, is launching today. And so we're going to be talking about that question. Could you have PTSD and not know it? And I'm going to discuss today what I call the new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. I'm going to reveal to you the science proving what causes it, and I'm going to show you how to resolve it. Now, you know me. I always have so much info I want to share. I want all of you to be happy and healthy and well. So don't get yourself any writer's cramp. Don't try to take notes. All the info that I'm going to share and quite a bit more will be in the new book. And um, I'm going to have some gifts for you at the end. I'm also going to tell you how you can get the 99 cent gift of my book for the next couple of days, and it's going to go to full retail. So we're going to just jump right in, okay? How do you know if you have this syndrome, what I call the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome? So to know, answer for me a few questions. The first question is, has all the social distancing and masking gotten on your last nerve? <laughs> That's a yes, right? Are you feeling overwhelmed with fear that you or a loved one might get sick or even leave his or her body? Are you worried about your finances and your financial future? Are you binge eating or binge drinking or spending too much time on the internet or glued to the TV? Or maybe you're sleeping too much or your sleep is restless or you can't sleep or you have nightmares. Now, if you attended the two Instagram lives that I offered with Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, you heard me say, that all it takes is one accident, one illness, or a single stress to set off the biochemical imbalance that triggers PTSD. Only one. So I want to give you a quick overview of the symptoms associated with PTSD and the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. Depressed mood, avoidance behaviors, like not doing what you know you should be doing, like exercising or eating right having distorted or debilitating feelings, hopeless emotions, feeling like the world's coming to an end, even a sense of despondency, like who cares if I eat right or exercise, the world is F, you know the rest. Having frightening thoughts, feeling stressed, anxious, tense, jumpy, jittery, or on edge, and or suffering panic attacks, irritability, angry outbursts, disturbed sleep, nightmares, avoiding people in places that you are afraid will upset you, having aches and pains and or stiff muscles, low energy, being locked into self-damaging or addicting, addictive behaviors like binging on TV or the internet or self-medicating with food, drugs, or alcohol. Now, if any of these symptoms sound like you, you are probably suffering what I call the global PTSD pandemic syndrome, but I don't want you to freak out because there is hope in sight. You are in the right place with me today. I'm going to introduce you to the first research-backed drug-free remedy for PTSD, the global pandemic stress syndrome, and most of the ailments that plague the Western world. And as you're soon going to realize, beyond the PTSD symptoms that I just spoke out to you, there are many other symptoms and conditions like depression, anxiety, and panic, pain syndromes, sexual dysfunctions, addictions, and even gut disorders are actually PTSD in disguise. Now here's a statistic. According to the National Institute of Health, 44 million Americans, including 5.5 to 6 million vets, reported struggling with PTSD as of June 2019. Now, this stat is the tip of the iceberg because most people don't even know they have PTSD and therefore they don't receive treatment. Now, if you're thinking, but Jamie, I'm not a veteran. Uh, I'm not a victim of abuse, so I can't have PTSD. Well, think again. All it takes is a single accident, a single illness, or a stressful event for the body to excrete magnesium which instantly triggers PTSD. So the bottom line is we have to face the painful truth. The stress associated with the coronavirus pandemic has pushed our world over the edge, triggering what I'm calling the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. Now, I'm not telling you these dire statistics so that you are gonna feel overwhelmed. That's the last thing you need. I'm telling you this because there's a way out. In the past year, I've been assisting people 
to overcome the new global pandemic, the PTSD pandemic stress syndrome using my energetic system upgrade. And this is a research-based drug fee free and divinely inspired method and it doesn't involve religion. So the method easily uproots the underlying chemical cause of your stress and discontent and rapidly replaces negative feelings with instant peace. So if you're ready to experience more joy, health, abundance, and peace than you dream possible, then you're ready for my energetic system upgrade. That new method of mine that combines the latest cutting edge science with my 38 years of experience as a shrink who has guided thousands in their healing process. So by the way, this energetic system upgrade method produces transformational results, not only in reversing the global PTSD pandemic stress, stress syndrome, but also in lifting any emotional, physical, or spiritual blocks that most of us suffer. You know, the famous Dr. Sherry Tenpenny experienced the healing miracle of my energetic system upgrade. And she said uh, on camera and during our energetics, uh, our um, Instagram live, she said as a result of uh, our first and only energetic system upgrade, she experienced an 80% improvement of an issue that has plagued her for 45 years, despite her seeking all kinds of help to resolve the issue. So how did I help Dr. Sherry realize this shift and how can I help you? Well, to break this down, Beyond the current pandemic stress, all of us have suffered some kind of trauma starting in childhood. And that's why I call childhood our deformative years, right? Trauma causes PTSD in all of us. And this trauma has tentacles that reach into our adult lives and create painful blocks that interfere with our work life or block our capacity to love and form satisfying intimate relationships. Early trauma is always working behind the scenes on an unconscious level. And this makes us blind to the fact that an old trauma is running us in the background and causing our current discontent. So when I perform an energetic system upgrade, I combine my skills as a psychoanalyst with my psychic abilities. And the combination enables me to laser in and see the trauma that's causing your emotional, your physical, your relationship, your work, or your spiritual block. And when I make the link, it releases the tentacles that are taking hold of your life and causing your current pain. And this unlocks your block. And that's why Dr. Sherry had such rapid improvement because I uncovered a trauma that had its teeth in her, the trauma that had caused her 45 year issue. And I want that same miracle for you. So make sure you stay with me till the end of the show because to celebrate the launch of my new book, if you think you don't have PTSD, think again, the first research-backed drug-free remedy for the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. I'm going to tell you how you can grab a copy of my new book for only 99 cents. That's my gift to you. And it's a limited, time-limited gift for the first four days of the launch. And then the price will go back to full retail. I also have some special free gifts to assist all of you in your healing that I'll announce in the end of the show. And you're going to love them. Now, today, I'm going to share with you the latest research along with my foundational learnings. And obviously I can't share everything with you in one hour. And at the end of the show, I'm just gonna tell you how you can find out how to experience your own energetic system upgrade healing with me personally. So let me tell you about how the energetic system upgrade came about. This is the divinely inspired part of the story. So. For nearly 30 years, some, most of you know, I was married to Jean Pain. He was a world-renowned former Jesuit priest, a Vatican professor and founder of the liberation theology movement, which he created to fight church oppression from within. And the Dalai Lama actually named him posthumously as one of the 50 men of all time who was one with God. Now, nearly 15 years ago, my beloved Jean was mortally wounded by a bee while we were vacationing together in Italy. And Jean made his presence known to me the moment he left his body, proving to me, the former atheist, that we don't die. And this realization led me to conclude that our relationships aren't meant to end with bodily death and that we are meant to reconnect and stay connected, which is the only real cure for grief. Now, having spent my entire professional career researching methods for resolving relationship conflict and fighting, culminating in the development of my conflict resolution method, I know millions of people are not fortunate enough to have a chance to resolve issues before those close to them leave their bodies. And so most of us harbor unfinished business with someone in spirit. 
Now, I also know Western grief therapy offers us no way of healing unfinished business with those in spirit. And that combined with my realizations that we don't die and that our relationships therefore shouldn't be meant to end with bodily death inspired me to bring the conflict resolution method to the world of after death communication. And this culminated in the creation of the transdimensional grief resolution method. And the cornerstone of that method is dialoguing with the departed that helps you reconnect and speak directly with those in spirit, helping you to heal unfinished business. Now I tell my reconnection story and introduce the transdimensional grief resolution method in my number one Hay House bestselling book, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. But one thing I never shared in Love Never Dies was a remarkable visitation from Jean right after he left his body. And I'll never forget what happened. I was standing in the bedroom when Jean suddenly appeared to me and said, I'm gonna send you a man who's younger than you, never married, and who has no children. And he said, the man would be grateful to me for saving his life the way I saved Jean's. Well, I was flabbergasted by what Jean said. And then life overtook me and I forgot about the message until 11 years later when Jean sent that very man. And I'll never forget that day either. A tidal wave of love as large as eternity overtook me the moment I laid eyes on the man that Jean sent. Now, I soon discovered Jean orchestrated that meeting to fill me with unearthly love for this man in order to assign me the divine appointment of healing deaths with PTSD. Because as I soon discovered, this man I loved was a four-time Afghanistan war vet with severe PTSD. And it is my love for him that motivated me to find a real cure for him and for every vet who is suffering unresolved PTSD. Through a series of really painful events, the man withdrew before I could heal him and I was simultaneously evicted from where I was living in New York and I was just so heartbroken. I allowed that emotional riptide to propel me from New York to Florida. And in Florida, the only way I could think to mend my poor broken heart was to pour my heart into finding a cure for vets with PTSD the way I couldn't help that man that I love. So I continued my research into PTSD and I realized that my PTSD mission is much broader than I had originally realized. I discovered that not only vets, but the majority of the population suffers undiagnosed PTSD. That's an amazing statistic. The majority of the population suffers undiagnosed PTSD. Now in the process of researching the topic, I discovered that I myself had PTSD as a result of being born three months early and weighing only two pounds at birth and having physical and emotional abuse in my first family suffering 106 degree fevers for the first 10 years of my life as the result of a congenital defect associated with my early birth. And then I lived on antibiotics for the first 10 years to treat the fevers. I had surgery at age 10 to correct the defect. I survived a car crash in which I was rear-ended by a drunk driver when I was parked on a bridge. And then I survived a 60 mile an hour train crash that caused me spinal damage. I had undetected and undetreat, untreated Lyme disease for most of my adult life. And of course, last but not least, my husband was torn from me by that fatal bee sting. So yes, I had PTSD. I say, I say had because I applied the same method that I developed to heal those with PTSD to myself with equally amazing results. Meanwhile, in Florida, I began sensing that I was being asked to develop a new energetic healing method that would enhance and expand upon the transdimensional grief resolution method. So I said to Jean one day, give me the name of the method. That night in my online transdimensional grief resolution method coaches training group, we all heard ding a bell. And immediately we heard a woman's voice that said, excuse me, time for a system upgrade. Well, we were all speechless because the voice didn't emanate from anyone's computer. Well, now I had the name of the new method, the energetic system upgrade, but I still had no clue what this method entailed and how it would relate to helping you reverse PTSD. Now, around this time here in Florida, I was introduced to the US distributors of a special form of magnesium called electromagnesium. Now, what is special about this form of magnesium is that it's applied transdermally via the skin. And because transdermal magnesium bypasses digestion, it immediately enters the bloodstream. And this form of magnesium has the power to instantly alleviate stress and PTSD. Now, when I discovered Electra, 
magnesium, the synchronicities that led me to that point hit me like a lightning bolt. I was moved to Florida as part of a divinely orchestrated plan to incorporate the electrotransdermal magnesium as the first step in my energetic system upgrades. And I don't sell this product. I'm not a distributor. I'm not an affiliate. I just use it myself and prescribe it to my patients and workshop and webinar participants with amazing results, not only with PTSD, anxiety, panic, and depression, but also in reversing many diseases and conditions that are actually magnesium deficiency in disguise. So in the past two years, I've been using this special form of magnesium in my energetic system upgrades and the healings have been astonishing. And again, I don't sell it. I'm not receiving commissions. I use it because it's the purest and most potent form of transdimensional. Oh, I just realized transdimensional and transdermal, very similar and same initials. It's the most potent form of transdermal magnesium on the market. So what happens is as Electra instantly enters your bloodstream, it begins reversing the chemical imbalance that causes PTSD. And as soon as the magnesium is applied to the skin, I can literally see stress and PTSD vaporizing right in front of my eyes. The participants instantly feel calm, but they're alert and receptive as the magnesium activates the electrical circuits in their brain, their hearts, and their organs. And in this relaxed but open state, I then begin the energetic system upgrade, which I, as I said, incorporates my skills as a psychoanalyst and a psychic and this enables me to uncover and then uproot whatever underlying physical, emotional, or spiritual imbalance, wound, or unfinished business that anyone is carrying. Healing the underlying emotional, physical, and spiritual imbalances that underlie PTSD is vital because these factors are what set us up to fall prey to PTSD and the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome in the first place. So when you eliminate the underlying issues, that it helps ensure that PTSD doesn't return in the future, no matter how much stress you face. So today I want to give you a little sneak peek of the book that I'm launching today. If you think you don't have PTSD, think again. And we're going to help you determine if you or someone you love is suffering from the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. And then I'm going to guide you on how to reverse it. So we're going to touch briefly. I mean, you know me, I wish that I could give you everything in this show. One of my coaches, Candy, says that her, her head spins when I try to give too much information. So I don't want you to get carpal tunnel syndrome from trying to take notes or have your head spin or give you like stress. And then you're going to need to have more help for PTSD. So just relax. Allow yourself to just hear what I'm saying and let it go in. It all enters the unconscious. Your unconscious will remember everything I'm saying. And then the book itself will give you all the research and much more details of what I'm telling you. So today we're going to talk about how PTSD manifests differently in men and women, how it expresses itself in children. We're going to look at symptom clusters associated with PTSD. And I'm going to group the main symptoms of PTSD into four categories, anxiety and panic, and their various emotional, physical, and behavioral offshoots, depressed mood and its emotional, physical, and behavioral expressions. Then we're gonna talk about PTSD and pain syndromes. And then we're gonna look at PTSD and addictions and how sexual dysfunction and even digestive disturbances are actually PTSD in disguise. And what you're gonna see is the symptoms associated with PTSD are themselves symptoms of low magnesium. And according to a lot of NIH research, correcting magnesium levels reverses PTSD and all its plaguing symptoms and conditions. So I really want to invite you to join forces with me because together we can ensure that no body is left on the battlefield of PTSD. We can become collective pebbles in the proverbial pond of love. Together, we can make the world a better place, a PTSD-free place. I want to share a screen slide with you because we made some nice slides to give you a little breakup in uh, what you're looking at. So here it is. This is the scientific fact sheet. It's all in the book, but basically 44 million Americans including 5.5 to 6 million veterans 
reported struggling with PTSD as of June, 2019. This is the tip of the iceberg because people don't know that they have PTSD and don't receive treatment. Now, again, one accident, illness, or trauma sufficient, is sufficient to trigger PTSD. Magnesium is an essential nutrient. It's needed in a 1,000 enzymatic bodily functions and every disease, nearly every disease, is a magnesium deficiency in disguise. And how does the magnesium deficiency cause PTSD? Well, first of all, when you have a stress, an illness, or an accident, the body rapidly loses its chemical, it, it stores of magnesium. Rapid depletion of magnesium causes something called HPA axis dysfunction, hippocampus pituitary axis dysfunction. Hippocampus pituitary adrenal axis dysfunction, say that three times fast. That dysfunction instantly triggers PTSD. But the best news of all is that PTSD is instantly reversed when you supplement with magnesium that's absorbable. Now this is important to know, this isn't just some fantasy or fairy tale. The NIH research proves it. And in the book, I gave you all the research. If you're that like-minded person that likes to study um, the science, basically we're talking about the primary neurobiochemical stress response network that involves the endocrine and the nervous systems. This dysfunction instantly triggers the fight flight response, also known as sympathetic arousal. Now, you know, it's funny, I just wanna say as an aside, I was being led to this entire method decades ago when my first work focused on HPA axis dysfunction as it's triggered by unresolved relationship conflicts. Couples in conflict get stuck in a permanent state of chemical imbalance or chronic fight flight mode, which is the same mechanism that occurs in PTSD. And this is the cause of PTSD. Now also the food we eat, impure water, alcohol, pit medicine, pharmaceuticals, unsoaked grains and seeds, birth control pills, um, corticosteroids, heavy metals, glyphosate, poor water, all these things flush magnesium from the body and trigger PTSD. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, we'll dive even deeper into the topic. Be back with you in a moment. It's Dr. J.B. Turndorf here. Are you feeling stressed, tense, jumpy, jittery, anxious, or having panic attacks or angry outbursts or disturbed sleep? Are you worried that you or someone you love is going to get sick or even die? Are you depressed and feeling hopeless like the world is coming to an end? Or are you suffering aches and pains or stiff muscles, low energy, or falling into self-damaging or addictive behaviors like binging on junk food, the internet, or TV, or abusing drugs or alcohol, or not eating right, or exercising, feeling like, what's the point? If you said yes to any of my questions, you are likely suffering what I call the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. Don't despair. My energetic system upgrade is your rescue remedy for the panic epidemic that is plaguing our world. The energetic system upgrade has already helped some of today's top leaders. Now you can experience your own energetic system upgrade healing transformation. To find out more and to schedule your session, visit drjamieturndorf.com slash energetic system upgrade. That's Dr. Jamie Turndorf, T-U-R-N-D-O-R-F dot com slash energetic system upgrade. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies. 
how to reconnect and make peace with the deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you yearn to get along better with your life partner or spouse, friends, family members, and even co-workers, Dr. Turndorf's book, Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship shows you how to turn conflict into connection for a lifetime of lasting love. Find out more about Kiss Your Fights Goodbye at AskDrLove.com. This is Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. This show is for you, the listener. Once again, here's Dr. Turndorf. Hi again, and welcome back to Love Never Dies on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. And Dr. Turndorf, turn on the love on Binge Networks TV. We're also going out live on YouTube. So we're talking about my new book, which is launching today. If you think you don't have PTSD, think again. The first research-backed drug-free remedy for the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. And I'm gifting you a 99-cent copy. At the end of the show, I'll tell you how you can get it. So we're talking about how each one of us gets PTSD. All it takes is one accident, one illness, one stress to rapidly excrete magnesium from the body. And this rapid excretion causes HPA axis dysfunction, which much research proves is the cause of PTSD. And the best news is that supplementing with the right form of magnesium reverses PTSD. Now, a lot of people say to me, oh, well, I'm using transdermal, but there's transdermal and there's transdermal magnesium. And that's why I recommend the Electra. Transdermal is the purest and the most potent. It doesn't have all kinds of excipients and toxic ingredients in it. Here's another interesting thing. Most diseases and conditions are actually a magnesium deficiency in disguise. Magnesium is an essential nutrient required in over a thousand enzymatic functions and um, magnesium deficiency worsens with age, which explains why people become sicker, less stress, and less stress tolerant, and more prone to PTSD as we get older. So again, the stress of the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed our magnesium deficient world over the edge, triggering this global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. But again, the good news is the very same cause of PTSD, the excretion of magnesium and other stress-related illnesses and many other diseases and conditions is the source of the solution. There's a lot of NIH published research showing that supplementing with magnesium reverses PTSD. Now here's the thing, people say, well, I take it orally. Well, the problem is oral magnesium causes diarrhea and gastrointestinal symptoms at the worst for most people and 30% absorption at best. And that's why transdermal magnesium is preferable to oral, oral magnesium. It pr provides instant uh, entrance into the bloodstream and superior cellular absorp and it, absorption and it bypasses the digestion because we need that. Most people have some degree of compromised digestion. I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, there's even an NIH study that showed that they compared low dose oral magnesium with transdermal and the, the, the study proved that urinary levels demonstrated transdermal administration provides better absorption than oral administration. So PTSD as well as many other conditions and diseases are a magnesium deficiency in disguise. You know, I'll never forget the day Carolyn Dean, the world's top magnesium expert was on my radio and TV shows. We discussed the fact that it was originally thought that magnesium is only needed in 300 bodily functions and that was bumped to 600 bodily functions. And now, as I said, Magnesium is needed in over 1,000. I'm going to sneeze. Can you believe this? I have never sneezed <laughs> on my own show. So I'm sneezing on the truth. Gesundheit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> without, without adequate magnesium, humans fall prey to all kinds of diseases and conditions that are low magnesium in disguise. 
So in the book, I list all the conditions that are really caused by low magnesium, adrenal fatigue, acid reflux, alcoholism, allergies, and hay fever. The list goes on and on. Asthma, arthritis, that's just the A's, heart problems, blood clots. There's over a hundred. Now, in um, Dr. Dean's book, she lists 66 conditions, but I did deeper research into the topic and found really 103 conditions. Uh, hers is 65 conditions, I think. So. After she finished listing the 65, I said to her, wait a minute, what about PTSD? And she said, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it, but it's true. Low magnesium triggers HPA axis dysfunction, which triggers PTSD. So think about it. If Dr. Dean, the world's expert on magnesium, hadn't known about the link between low magnesium and PTSD, you can be sure your MD is altogether clueless about this vital research. Now, you know, there's always a silver lining to every sorrow. Jean's filling me with so much love for that vet with PTSD, motivated me to dig under every research rock to come up with this little known research pro proving low magnesium causes PTSD. So that pain that I suffered ends up benefiting you too. Now, most people used to think, as I used to think, that you can't have PTSD unless you're a vet or someone who suffered extreme violence or abuse. And this is not true. Because remember, I keep saying, all it takes is one stress, one accident, one illness, to deplete our magnesium stores and trigger PTSD. And since most of us have suffered some degree of PTSD since childhood, because who escapes childhood without an accident, an illness, or stress? And then we spend our lives trying to blot out those symptoms with drugs, and the drugs further deplete our magnesium stores, and then we get sicker and sicker, and our PTSD gets worse and worse. And as life piles on us more stress over time, combined with impure water and processed foods and refined sugar and carbs and alcohol and soda and tannins in black tea and green tea, phytic acid from unfermented soy products and unsoaked grains and seeds, oxalic acid from raw spinach and many other vegetables, coffee, smoking, GMOs, gluten, damaged fats, oils, fluoride toxicity, neurotoxins and endotoxins, pharmaceutical drugs of all kinds. I list them all in the book. Um, antibiotics, corticosteroids, everybody gets those. You got a bee sting, they give you a corticosteroid. Antipsychotics, cocaine, toxic metals, mercury, lead, and aluminum pesticides, herbicides, and glyphosate residues, even in our organic food, let alone conventional food, and water that is not clean. And we all become more and more depleted with magnesium. And the magnesium lowers over time, and we are all teetering on the brink of PTSD if we don't already have it by this point. And now this pandemic has pushed our magnesium, magnesium deficient world over the edge, triggering this new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. Now, how do you know if you have the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome? So I gave you a couple stats before, 44 million Americans and 5.5 to 6 million vets were reported to be struggling with PTSD as of 2019, and that was before the pandemic. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because people don't know they have PTSD. It begins in childhood from one stress, accident, or illness. Let me give you an example. Former patient of mine named Mary, her first family was an emotional minefield. Talk about stress. Her parents were always screaming and yelling at her and punishing her. And she tried to be a good kid, she really did, but she could never figure out the rules of engagement. So she was always in trouble for one offense or another, even though she was walking on eggshells to avoid setting up an another emotional minefield. And then she'd set it off and they'd yell at her, stick her in her room in solitary confinement. And the next thing you know, she's got headaches, insomnia, irritability, she's sick her whole life. Another patient, Keith, he was always clumsy and he just had a trip when he was a kid, he fell off his bike, broke his arm. From then on, he was never okay in his skin. He was sickly, nervous, forgetful. Okay, everybody's got PTSD. The, the um, National Center for PTSD says about every six out of 10 men, or 60%, and five out of every 10 women, or 50%, experience one trauma in their lives. Well, that number isn't even right. It's more common than we think. And you don't have to have survived the battlefield, domestic and abroad. Our domestic battlefields, abusive family situations, marital and intimate relationship traumas, 
emotional abuse, divorces, breakups, the bodily loss of a loved one, all these things trigger PTSD. Now, if you're likely, if you're breathing, you likely have a degree of PTSD. So I have so much I want to share with you. I'm trying to think how I can get the main, I think you get the main point. So PTSD, how do you know you had it? Well, these are the three main symptoms. You experience flashbacks, um, recollections of a past event, nightmares. You might re-experience a trauma. You might feel emotional numbness and avoid places, people, and activities that are reminders of your trauma. Um, you might experience a increased arousal, which would be not the good kind, the sexual kind. That is, you can't sleep, you can't concentrate, you feel jumpy, and be, you feel easily irritated and angered. Okay? Who doesn't have this, right? Um, there are some other criteria which I lay out for you in the book. Now, also something interesting when you have PTSD, you may not remember important aspects of a traumatic event and it's not due to a head injury, just you can't remember. Um, you also will have often persistent and exaggerated negative beliefs about yourselves. I'm bad or negative beliefs about others. No one can be trusted. The world is dangerous. This is part of PTSD. And you may have distorted blame um, for yourself and others. Um, you might be uh, restless or self-destructive. You might have an exaggerated startle response. All the symptoms are there in the book. Do not freak out if you realize you have PTSD or someone you love has PTSD because the simple solution I keep referring to is transdermal magnesium. There's in the book, you'll see there's this one uh, research, magnesium deficiency induces anxiety and HPA axis dysfunction modulation by therapeutic drug treatment. They mean using magnesium in lieu of a drug. Okay, now in, we have two minutes till we're gonna go to break. And I wanna talk to you about how PTSD manifests differently in men and women. It doesn't look the same. Now, women are more likely to develop PTSD. Why? The first reason is because high impact trauma is a real cause of PTSD. The greater the physical impact, the greater risk of PTSD. And of all the forms of high impact assault, sexual assault is the most likely to cause PTSD. And one in four women are raped by age 44, as opposed to only 8%. Now, also women seem to experience more neglect, abuse, or the sudden loss of a loved one. Oh, they, and, and women tend to pre, uh, husbands and uh, male partners tend to predecease women. All of these things trigger PTSD. Domestic violence is a big trigger of PTSD. And 35% of women worldwide have experienced physical or sexual intimate partner abuse. There you go, that's PTSD. Now, men, um, are more likely to experience trauma as a result of combat trauma. And that triggers other forms of PTSD. Now, I also have to backtrack and say, when you're the victim of sexual abuse, you're more likely to feel guilty and ashamed. Whereas if you experience combat trauma, the shame and the guilt doesn't, doesn't seem to enter into the picture. Also, the earlier you experience the trauma, the more likely you are to experience PTSD because the trauma has impacts on the neurobiological, the personality and the brain development. So in addition, you know, there's, there's the reaction to the trauma at the time of the trauma is going to be connected to the development of PTSD. The greater the reaction at the time, the more cortisol is released, the more HPA axis dysfunction the higher the risk for PTSD. There's so much more interesting information about how it manifests differently in men and women. So when you read the book, you'll see all of it. You'll see yourself, you'll see your partner in um, this chapter. I wish I could go into more. We have to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. And when we come back, I'm gonna try to go through um, a quick overview of pain, uh, sexual dysfunctions, all of these things and how addictions, stomach distress, how all of these things are really PTSD in disguise. Be back with you in a moment on Love Never Dies Radio and Dr. Turndorf, Turn on the Love.
it's Dr. J.B. Turndorf here. Are you feeling stressed, tense, jumpy, jittery, anxious, or having panic attacks or angry outbursts or disturbed sleep? Are you worried that you or someone you love is going to get sick or even die? Are you depressed and feeling hopeless like the world is coming to an end? Or are you suffering aches and pains or stiff muscles, low energy, or falling into self-damaging or addictive behaviors like binging on junk food, the internet, or TV, or abusing drugs or alcohol, or not eating right, or exercising, feeling like, what's the point? If you said yes to any of my questions, you are likely suffering what I call the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. Don't despair. My energetic system upgrade is your rescue remedy for the panic epidemic that is plaguing our world. The energetic system upgrade has already helped some of today's top leaders. Now you can experience your own energetic system upgrade healing transformation. To find out more and to schedule your session, visit drjamieturndorf.com slash energetic system upgrade. That's drjamieturndorf, T-U-R-N-D-O-R-F dot com slash energetic system upgrade. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you can't stop crying over the bodily loss of a loved one, Dr. Turndorf's number one international bestseller, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, will show you how to toss out the tissues and transform your grief into joy using her groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique that enables you to reconnect and even heal unfinished business with those in spirit without the assistance of a medium, channeler, or psychic. Sign up for Dr. Love's free newsletter at AskDrLove.com and receive an exciting gift, a free excerpt of Love Never Dies. And now, back to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello again, welcome back to Love Never Dies Radio on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network and Dr. Turndorf, Turn on the Love on Binge Networks TV. We're talking about how each of us now has the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. And one thing I didn't say before we took the break is that the mainstream treatments for uh, PTSD and for this new condition that I have coined include cognitive behavioral therapy and drugs and EMDR, and uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, and now the latest one, deep brain stimulation. It's a surgical procedure where they stimulate the amygdala and the ventral striatum, hippocampus, and the prefrontal cortex. It's a surgical procedure to turn off the HPA axis dysfunction that causes PTSD. Now, is this nuts? You can turn off HPA axis dysfunction with magnesium. Do not allow people to subject you to all these risky and dangerous and ineffective treatments. Use transdermal magnesium. Now, I have so much I want to share, and we don't, we're only we're in the last segment now. So in the book, I'm gonna go over how you can tell whether your child has PTSD. According to um, the National Center for PTSD. Uh, 15% up to 43% of girls and up to 43% of boys experienced one trauma in childhood. Give me a break. Everybody's had a trauma and that triggers PTSD. So uh, I have a little here, I could show this to you. And you know, then what you can do when you're watching this, you could take a screenshot if you want, or you'll see this also in my book. All these charts and everything are in the book. 
these are the events that are most likely to trigger PTSD in children. Look, illness, accidents, natural disasters, family fights, parental divorce, car accidents, vaccines. Come on, it's something that every kid is exposed to. Every kid's got PTSD. And once again, transdermal magnesium is proven again and again and again to be the thing that reverses the HPA axis dysfunction that causes PTSD. Now, again, in the book, you'll see the symptoms are different in preschool children, preschool age, school age, and adolescents, It'll, it, it, adolescent children. You'll see it all in the book. Now, the bottom line is love, talking therapies, therapeutic techniques do not reverse magnesium deficiency. That's why the research shows that treatments for PTSD are woefully ineffective because they're not supplementing with magnesium. All right. Now, how do you know if here, this is another chapter in uh, the book. If you think you don't have PTSD, think again. How do you know if you have panic, anxiety, or PTSD, or all three? Well, what's amazing is, I'll just cut to the chase for you. All the symptoms are very, very similar, all. And, you know, I never knew why the Western Psychiatric Association makes such a big deal about doing differential diagnoses when the imbalance is the same, whether it's panic, whether it's anxiety or whether it's PTSD, the imba imbalance, the HPA axis dysfunction is the same for whether it's generalized anxiety disorder. Now, the one difference with PTSD is that people with PTSD may experience more flashbacks than people do with uh, generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and, and that. But but the biggest thing I want to tell you is the mainstream way of managing whatever it is, anxiety, uh, panic disorder, they give you um, pharmaceutical drugs and they combine them with anti-anxiety medicines. This is hell because when the patient tries to come off the drugs, they now can't get off of them. There's actual drug withdrawal uh, programs to help people with what's called discontinuation syndrome, withdrawal phenomenon, rebound phenomenon. In other words, when you try to come off the drugs, your original symptoms rebound on you and are worse. So the bottom line is you can bypass all of those drug withdrawal problems and the drugs don't even really work because they delete, deplete your magnesium, which makes your symptoms worse. So then they raise your drug prescription dose and then you get worse and worse. You've seen this, transdermal magnesium. It's proven, lots of NIH research, it reverses panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and PTSD. But just be careful, if you're on pharmaceutical drugs, don't stop cold turkey. Use the doctor's discontinuation schedule so that you don't have these bad symptoms. Now, same thing is true with depression. Depression and PTSD are one and the same. Most people who suffer PTSD are depressed and vice versa. So there's no point even making a distinction, okay? Now, in the book, I um, tell you all about the different forms of depression, bipolar, and the symptoms. You can look at it. You can see what the traditional uh, Western medicine says causes it, what alternative medicine says causes it. But here's the thing I want you to know more than anything is, I, I also talk about some unusual causes that people don't think about, like low thyroid, low vitamin D, low testosterone, neurotransmitter imbalances, which come from the gut. So I go into all of that. Now, here's the thing. Mainstream medicine will give you these antidepressants and you have the same issues when you try to come off the antidepressants as you do with the anti-anxiety drugs. Rebound syndromes, bad news. Now, let's just jump for a second to pain. Pain, I, in this chapter, it's very elaborate. I talk about the different kinds of pain, the sources of pain, how you can figure out where your pain is coming from. But here's the bottom line with pain. The, the standard treatment for pain in the United States is low-dose antidepressant medication. Why? Because doctors have noticed that people in pain feel depressed. So they figure, oh, you must be in pain because you're depressed. And then they prescribe antidepressants. This is an abomination. They also talk about um, chronic pain syndrome. And the, it's classified as something that your doctor doesn't know what's causing your pain. Well, just because your doctor doesn't know what's causing it doesn't mean you don't have pain and that there isn't a reason for your pain. And again, treating 
pain with antidepressants is also nuts when we know that magnesium reverses pain as well. You'll see all the research on this in this chapter, tremendous research that magnesium reverses all kinds of pain syndromes from all different kinds of causes. The same is true for um, addictions. The addiction chapter in this book is very, very detailed. And once again, NIH research, you'll, you'll be amazed to see how your pain and your PTSD are both caused by low magnesium levels and supplementing reverses the pain as well as the PTSD. Same thing with sexual dysfunction. I, I don't have time to go into all the details. I was wishing I would, but um, you'll be able to see it all. Now, I just wanna cut to the chase and bring all of these syndromes and conditions and low magnesium together with the energetic system upgrade, okay? Because the energetic system upgrade is the method in which I help you to combine the transdermal magnesium with the, um, with the, the upgrade. So, you know, it's, it's amazing because you can see that I'm speaking so quickly because I have such a wish to just help everybody who's struggling. It's so easy, okay? So this is the bottom line. The way I, um, I help you lift this global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome with the energetic system upgrade is like this. What we do is we apply the magnesium wherever I feel it's needed. It could be on your heart, it could be in your liver, okay? And it literally kind of like reboots all your organs, right? And then it makes you receptive and open to the upgrade, okay? Now, within a few minutes, you're gonna actually feel the reversal of your PTSD, the HPA axis dysfunction will lift. You're actually going to just feel like a different person right away. Then we will be able to get down to what started your problem in the first place and resolve that, okay? Now, um, I wanted to try to explain to you more about how the energetic system upgrade works because there's an actual science behind it. You know, we are electromagnetic machines, right? And magnesium actually activates all the electrical magnetic functions in our body. And people will actually say, gosh, I feel like the light went on for me. Here, let me, let me share the screen because these just came in and I thought this would give you a sense of hope and comfort. Um, yeah. So these just came in from some of the top experts, Ten Penny, who, as you know, um, I helped her to release what was plaguing her. Bernie Siegel has just endorsed the book, Dr. Jurisunis. So many clients at workshops and webinars have had amazing healings, amazing healings, right? So it's not a scary process, it's a beautiful process. We um, put it on you, then I put you into a trance, and I find whatever is that tentacle from your childhood that began your predisposition to PTSD and I uproot that. And the cool thing about this is it helps you, it kind of immunizes you against falling prey to PTSD and the global pandemic stress syndrome in the future. I wanna tell you, let's see, you see this? Yeah, this is where you can get the Electra Magnesium. Electra with a K, magnesium.com.au. There's a photograph of all of Sandy's products. Again, I don't make a commission, but if you tell her that you uh, saw or heard about her products on the show, I know she'll give you some gifts. Sandy is wonderful that way. She is absolutely wonderful. Um, here is how you can schedule your energetic system upgrade with me. Go to drjamieturndorf.com forward slash energetic system upgrade. And if you forget, you know, these names, you can just come to askdrlove.com and you will see on the top menu um, all the ways that you can work with me. And in that drop-down menu, 
is uh, the energetic system upgrade. Now, I don't do many of these, but for the launch of the book, I'm offering a to do um, as many as you need uh, at a discounted price. So you've heard all about the, the scientific evidence today causing, explaining how cellular magnesium deficiency it de causes HPA axis dysfunction and PTSD in the global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. And what you need to know is that the stress can come in many forms, the loss of a loved one, loss of income, fearing for your health. And underneath all that fear is the fear of quote unquote death and dying. But hopefully my story and my reconnection story with Jean will prove to you we don't die. We just leave our bodies. And perhaps that will help you not be so afraid of this deep fear of death and dying. And then when you can push that fear back, you realize what are we here for? Just to perfect our ability to love ourselves and others. This is our love lab, right? And so one of the things I want everybody to do, which really helps ease our stress, is to live love now. Eulogize the living. Tell the people you are with why you love them. Do this on a daily basis. Live love now. And to live love now, we really have to remember to manage our angry feelings. Because when you act out your anger, and yes, intimate relationships really do anger us, but when you act it out, love fades and we all need to live love. The bonds that we share are our insulation against stress, are our insulation against developing the PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. So um, I talk about this in my first Tales book, Kiss Your Fights Goodbye. I teach you how to communicate your anger in a way that brings you closer together. It doesn't you know, tear you apart, but this is so important that you maintain your love connections and manage your negative feelings. And through the connection, a real deep connection, we fill the, the void that lives in all of us, which is essentially the void of not feeling connected in a deep way. And we all need to connect more. It's the greatest chill pill, the greatest anti-stress pill. So live now the highest and most divine purpose of your intimate relationships, hold each other, help each other heal your old scars, help to uproot the things that damaged you, become a corrective love object, give to your partner the kind of treatment that he or she needed that he or she didn't get growing up. Manage your fight traps, don't dump raw rage on each other. Listen, 95% of all conflicts can be resolved by truly listening to each other. Listening is love in action. And then make this time a time where you're going to transform your house and your life into your true love lab and use the transdermal magnesium, the electrotransdermal magnesium. It's your love mineral. It's a biochemical paddle that opens your heart, helps you heal the old scars, helps you lift stress. Love and connection is the antidote to the disconnection and the stress that we're all feeling. And in this state of connection, as you drink from that well of love, your relationship and you become an, a well that extingu extinguishes the flames that burn most relationships and families and countries. So this is really the energetic system upgrade. Let me show you again. I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, show you again. There, there's where you can get your energetic system upgrade. DrJamieTurndorf.com energetic system upgrade. Electromagnesium.com. And here, my special, special gift to you for the launch of the book. If you think you don't have PTSD, think again. Go to amazon.com, just put in, if you think you don't have PTSD, think again and put in my name and you will see that I'm offering you this book at a gift, 99 cents, so that you can really understand all the science behind what I've talked about today. So when I say to you now, I wish you all the love in this world and beyond, and the beyond. That's the most important message that I can bring you. You do not have to live in stress. You don't have to live with longstanding PTSD or the new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome. I want you to heal. I'm here to help you heal. That's all I have for you now. See you next time on Love Never Dies Radio and Dr. Turndor, Turn On The Love on Binge Networks TV.
Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. 